Hi there, welcome to today's video. And for today's video, I've got a question here from Nelson. And excuse me if I'm looking down at my feet every now and again. I'm walking along the edge of a fair precipice over here that I don't feel like going tumbling down because I can see there's some brambles down there and that will really mess up this face and this hair just a little bit. And I don't think you feel like seeing a video with me completely caked in blood. Maybe you do. If you do, post a comment about that in the comment section down below. But let's get back to the question at hand. The question at hand comes from Nelson. And Nelson asks, do I ever run or bike without e eating breakfast? Often, but that's totally beside the point. Many people tell me that that's not the ideal way to do things, but that's something that I often do. He went for a ride yesterday for about an hour. With lots of hills and he took just water and he felt great. He's also heard that fat is the best source of energy. Well, Nelson, let me just get off this freaky edge over here before I start answering your question. Uh, Nelson, as far as fat being the best source of energy, is fat is a brilliant long-term source of energy. You went out for an hour's ride, you've got in your, when you get up in the morning, rested, you've got about 90 minutes worth of glycogen stored in your liver, stored in your muscles, stored in your blood. So you've got a 90 minute energy tank of muscle glycogen, of blood sugar, that you can use. So your one hour ride wasn't enough to be able to tap that blood sugar, that glycogen tank that you already have. So you would have needed to go longer than 90 minutes to be able to tap excuse the noise there behind me you need to go longer than 90 minutes to be able to tap that natural uh, blood muscle liver sugar energy tank that you have completely so your one hour ride first thing in the morning without any breakfast beforehand on just water you won't have had any problems with that whatsoever simply because you had enough energy in the tank to be able to carry you through that. We're um, becoming more fat, getting used to burning fat as far as fuel is concerned becomes more of an issue is when you go longer than 90 minutes. And also bear in mind that when you're going longer than 90 minutes that also comes the time when you start needing to ingest calories. But also you need to also bear in mind that the body can absorb approximately 150 calories per hour. Some people more, some people a bit less, but the normal rule of average is about 150 calories an hour. Depending on the intensity level and the type of event that you're doing, it's easy to be able to be burning approximately 250 to 300 calories per hour. I remember that from a 250 kilometer mountain bike race that I did a couple of years back. I was burning at a rate of about 280 calories an hour. I could only eat 150 calories per hour. The calorie deficit there came from fat. But what's important to note is that um, fat burns most efficiently when there's a certain amount of blood sugar, when there's a certain amount of glycogen to help fuel that furnace. If you're wanting to run solely, ride or run solely on fat, you need to bring your effort level way down. So what happens is if you're operating solely at aerobic level, you can operate at aerobic level burning just fat. But as soon as you move up anywhere between aerobic and lactate threshold, between those two, you'll be burning a combination of blood sugar and fat all the way through. So what I'd say is go out in your long rides, but make sure if you're going out longer than 90 minutes, make sure your intensity level is down, that you can be burning mostly fat, then you'll be able to go longer than 90 minutes without taking in any calories while you're riding and also without needing to eat a big breakfast before you ride because you've got that 90 minutes of blood glycogen intensity level down, you're burning fat at the same time, you'll be able to go further than 90 minutes, probably up to about 2 hours or so. That's my take on the matter. Share any comments, questions, criticisms that you have in the space down below. That way you'll be helping me to be able to make these videos 
better for you in the future. And also, thumbs up if you like this type of content, thumbs down if not. That way I know what to be putting out in the future. And also, share this out amongst all your riding friends, share this out amongst all your running friends. That way we're able to help more people make better sports nutrition and training decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. And last but by no means least, if you are watching this video in YouTube, check out this awesome orange that will be getting ripe in just a couple of weeks. Uh, if you're watching this video in the YouTube channel, down, be down below the screen, somewhere around about over here be be beneath my chin, down below the screen is a big red subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, that way you stay subscribed to my channel for all the new content that comes out on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time. Cheers.